So a lot of you have been having concerns about the CF Moto U10 not wanting to start. We've looked into this issue and we, I'll show you on the screen here, some of the issues that we've seen and we're gonna fix that today with a brand new upgraded starter solenoid, okay? You will not be able to hurt this solenoid. This solenoid here will start a diesel truck. So we're gonna upgrade it. We do have the upgrade kit on our website available for you to purchase. For your CF Moto U10 Pro, however, I must stress that this can be a universal fit for other machines. CF Moto, Polaris, it doesn't matter. This will work. You just might have to get creative on folding it up, zip tying it, whatever you choose to do. We're going to bolt this one in, um, the CF Moto U10, but you can use it on other machines. Um, this starter solenoid is more robust than what's in here. This one in here, we're seeing the studs are snapping off. We're seeing um, the wires that go to are breaking. And I'm actually gonna show you in this video later on where I seen this one break and others are breaking as well. And you're actually gonna be quite surprised because it's something that you won't exactly be able to see. So without further ado, hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Let's get into installing this so you guys can get back on the trail without having to worry if your CF Moto U10 is gonna start. A lot, a lot of them are just clicking and they're not actually engaging the starter. These solenoids are the most cheapest thing. And it's not just CF Moto that uses these cheap, junk, small, tiny starter solenoids. All brands do it, even your riding lawnmower, okay? So I've been using this solenoid particularly on a lot of my projects, on a lot of my stuff over the years. So I'm very confident. I know the solenoid very well because I have put it on many things. I've retrofitted it to fit many things. And I'm gonna show you how to do that to the U10. And it's gonna be pretty much the same no matter what you have. Tractor, boat, car, doesn't matter. So guys, when you get your solenoid, you're gonna take it out of the box. You're gonna have all your hardware. We're gonna include an extra uh, nut and bolt. Like I said, this is pretty universal fit. So sometimes you might have to get a little creative with it and mounting it up. Um, but you're gonna need wire cutters, wire strippers. We're going to include in the package some good heat shrink wire butt connectors because you're gonna need those. And you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and a 12 millimeter socket for this particular job. Right here is the CF Moto U10 starter solenoid. It is quite different than the other solenoids on the market for CF Moto, um, but CF Motos have been well known for having starter solenoid problems, grounding problems, the whole nine yards. We're gonna fix all of that today with this one. So I wanna show you guys where I got to snooping and I noticed it'll focus i noticed that this silicone was busted okay it's cracked open so i lifted this up i don't know if it was factory like this or not lift that up can you see that wire there look at the corrosion that is bare copper wire right there and look at the corrosion that has started on that already that is crazy so it's a no wonder why these are failing guys. It, it's just insane. I, I don't know. I don't think that was purposely designed like that to do that, but this must move somehow because this doesn't, this was just like this when I got it. It probably should be, it doesn't really go all the way around to secure the wire, but even if it did look at the bind that that wire is under right there. Okay. So yeah, just getting rid of this, but we're going to peel this back we're going to peel these back there now these are live you're going to want to disconnect your battery before doing this and so we're not cutting the factory harness this plugs in back here see that plug this plugs in so we don't want to cut the factory harness because we don't want to avoid any warranties so we're going to cut this right here at the solenoid So we're going to utilize and get down in there and cut this. 
we're going to utilize the stock plug that comes on this solenoid. So if you ever have anything that comes up and you need to buy a solenoid, put this back to stock for any reason, you can just plug it back in. No cut wires on that. So we're going to peel that sheath off. You can use it. I'm not going to. Look, that wire right there is rubbed through too. See that? That's crazy. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to leave it just to show you how to install it. And you're going to take your 10 millimeter socket and we're going to take these lugs off. Take that lug off, remove it out the way. We're gonna put this cover on it so it can't touch anything ground out. Now there's a bolt here, factory bolt here. It's 10 mil and then there's a factory bolt over here. It's also 10 mil. But trying to save time on camera for you guys, I took them loose just to help. Now we're going to take this other wire off this solenoid here. And like I said, treat these as live wires, even though you should have disconnected your battery. But you didn't. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them that. <laughs> I am the fry king around here. All right. Now we're going to grab our new solenoid and we're going to utilize a stock. Not that stock one. Yeah, not that stock one. <laughs> We're going to utilize a stock bolt here, put it back in. And we're not going to tighten it up. We're going to leave it loose. Okay, and we're going to let it dangle. And we're going to take our bolt that came with the kit. And we're going to bring it up here and put it in this upper hole here. Now this is going to be slightly tricky, but mostly because of the side of the vehicle I'm on. It's not that difficult, but... It's just fun because you're trying to do it backwards. Well, yeah, if I was on that side of the vehicle and using the other hand. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, we're going to strip these wires. Boy, those are sticky. I don't use these that often. We're going to go ahead and strip these wires. Well, you bought new ones, but you just... I got them really good bus. ones, which I should be using. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using the junk stuff. Because you found those. Yeah. They were closer. I would, didn't we just talk about that the other day, John Boy? I have all the right tools, but I did it with all the wrong ones for video. We'll just, the shop, we'll just so. chalk it up as that. I'm doing it for the video with what I got. And we're going to take our included wire ends. Put them on like so. And we're going to crimp them down with the correct tool, but the junk one. Mm -hmm. And we're going to twist these wires. And some of you guys say solder connections. I don't solder all the connections. It depends upon what it's going to. This you probably could if you wanted. If you really wanted to. But I don't because depending upon what it is, Amperage will unsolder a connection faster than you soldered it. All right, guys. So now we got those on there. I got to get a heat gun and shrink these. Tell you what, this Bauer battery operated heat gun, you cannot go wrong with it. I've had this thing for quite some time and it works pretty good when you have a charged battery. This one is not all the way charged. 
So it's kicking in and out on me. It's also a small one, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't like the small batteries. But it'll work. I was sending them looking for a CD lighter. Yeah. I promise, guys. <laughs> it works good. <laughs> Let me find the big battery. All right, guys. The big battery fully charged later. Now we have a good heat gun. And doing this, it does everything nice and slow. Maybe that won't overcook your solder, your yep. connection. It there. won't overcook yeah. everything. Melt the wires. Nice and even, nice and slow. Don't get in a hurry when doing this. You want these to be weather tight. That's the key. All right, guys, now your kit is gonna have some little nuts. Little nutch. Please nut. Some lock washers. It does not matter where you put these small wires. As long as it's going on these small terminals right here, it does not matter. This thing does not care where it gets its power from, where it shoves its power out of. It just doesn't care. That's how solenoids work. That's how all solenoids work. They are literally an on-off switch for temporary contact. That's all it is. So for me, I'm putting the ground on the bottom because it has the longest cable and I'm putting the uh, power up top. Put on my lock ring. Get my small tiny nut, which is a 10 millimeter. Now guys, when tightening these down, snug. Snug a dug and no. Don't ugga break ugga. them off. <laughs> Don't break them off. It doesn't need to be broken off. Like I said, till you feel tension on it and then like quarter turn. That's it. As for these these lugs, we gotta drill them out. Okay? Because these lugs are much bigger. But we have plenty of meat here to drill them out, all right? That's what we got to do. That's what we're going to do real quick. All right, guys, you're going to want a 2160 force. That's what size is going to get us over these. And you're going to want a nice pair of pliers. Set your torque limiter kind of low on your drill so this doesn't yank out of your hands and, and hurt you. And take little, little bites. See how easy that is? It's it's literally that easy. We're gonna get it over that. Get our lock washer, our lock washer. Get our nut up on there, and these are 12 millimeters, okay? All right, guys, I gotta cut it right there. You know, we can't leave nothing alone. Can't do anything half assed. Well, we made it happen for y'all. We got one that bolts right in to the factory location and uh, no extra bolts needed. We did it for y'all. We doing it. We doing it guys. So yeah, update on that. You know, before we release products, we always test and continue to test and continue to test and do other things. So we uh, found a solution that bolts right on like that. So update on that. While we're in here working on this thing, one other thing we need to take care of that I noticed, is this wire right here. This can rub through right here on your U10, this motor mount. Some of your U10s have the motor mount, or not a motor mount, but it's a motor cherry picker hook. Some of your U10s have them and some of your U10s don't. But we need to just zip tie this wire right there. All right. We'll just trim that off. 
out of the way no more hassle all right guys we got it hooked up we got it on there just like so give you guys a good look at it that way you understand how i have it on this u10 we did put our ground wire up here we did put our battery wire up here our starter wire here and our red positive wire here now we can get these terminals over i'm going to get a photo of this for the website this is the one that we're um, going with for you guys it's the one that i feel most comfortable with and honestly i tell you i feel these guys when they're talking about in the groups we shouldn't when we're paying this kind of money we shouldn't have to upgrade this and upgrade that and i'm with you guys i i got your back 100 percent. i am not a dealer i'm not here to steal from you and do anything any other shenanigans any other business might do to you i'm not a dealer i'm not persuaded in one way or another but i am a parts supplier so we do performance parts we do stuff like this this stuff does keep us in business but i am with you i feel like you pay this kind of money you shouldn't have to do all this stuff right it's something you shouldn't have to do this stuff should be done from the factory this is shenanigans but again it keeps people like me in business to help people like you and you don't have to buy a solenoid for me you can get creative and buy your own you know but if you choose to support me in my videos we appreciate that a lot like a lot a lot this stuff selling this stuff to you guys helps us keep going and if you've been around a long time you know i'm not making this stuff up to sell you anything this is stuff that you can find easily all these complaints in the groups of, amongst machines doesn't matter if it's polaris can-am honda cf moto we just happen to be in the cf moto game and so any little quirks and stuff like this we want to bring fixes to you guys and that's what we're doing here like i said you are free to shop anywhere you want. If you want to throw a Timu one on there and hope and pray it works, by all means, we support that. If you want to buy something that's good and quality, you know you're getting good quality, you can buy it from us. It supports us at the same time. And like I said, a little bit of work. This is a 10-minute job. You got basic tools, basic of the basic tools, and it's in there. John Boy, you want to start that up? Give them a couple startups for it. You gotta start it up so you guys can see. He's gotta do it two or three times. Well, I got my pliers on that heat shield. <laughs> there you go. Do it one more time, John boy. Just so you guys know, this heat shield does not rattle <laughs> at all. But if you're hearing noises, it's this little thing right here that I left on there. So, yes, good to go, guys. So there you guys have it. We fixed the U10 starter solenoid problem. This cheap, junky thing, I don't know what they were thinking of with that, but throw that in a scrap bin, the floor, wherever you want to throw it. Peace out. God bless. We'll see you in the next one.